Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and here I am in Coventry and I have Sean from Dunton Environmental. Sean, I saw on LinkedIn that you guys have got a new machine and this machine is the Cat 330. You've done something pretty special on the back of it. What's it all about? Why have you gone with the Cat 330? I wouldn't have expected you guys to, to maybe go with something else. What's happened? Well, the reason we're going with Cat 330, we have a good relationship with, uh, with Paul, Paul Edwards at Finning and along with Cat that looks after us in the past. Uh, we had a Cat 330 before, which was very reliable, service was great, performance was really good. So we decided as we were getting rid of a Cat 330, we'd move back in and get another one. But this isn't just a Cat 330 though, is it, Sean? This is a Cat 330 with a Dunton difference because this has got machine control on it, hasn't it? And the very latest in machine control. Yes, we're going ahead with this one for the Cat with the Cat on the um, uh, Trimble Earthwork system and the latest Trimble Earthwork system. One, because it gives our operators better equipment to work with. They can produce a better job for our clients and less engineer time. It's so much easier for them to use and advanced. And you're telling me earlier before we came on site here that actually that's part of your philosophy moving forward, that you're actually looking at machine control and data from that to actually tell your clients what you're doing. Explain to me why and how that's working. But what we'd prefer is that we can actually give more information to our clients quicker. So with the machine control on there, our, our plant operator can actually send information back to the engineer. He can then deal with that information. We can get information from site quicker back to our clients if there's any issue, any setting out problems, we can address it a lot quicker. Our clients are happy with this because it helps them with their design changes. That does happen in construction from time to time. Of course, and we're on a site here which is quite unusual because what you've done here is you've used the environmental bit of Dunton because you've actually brought material into the site and got a permit to be able to use it. Now I've never heard of that being done before and you've also had the HMRC visit which could be quite worrying for any person doing anything like that in the industry. Tell me what's happened there in both contexts. Well, we've gone ahead, there was a shortfall material on this job, it was a headache for our client, so we've looked at it, and Jane Hill, our other director for Dunton Environmental, Neil Rowe, we all looked at what permits can we get, how can we help our client? So we've come along that there was a massive shortfall for the project, with resource material, instead of going to landfill and brought it into Paragon Park to one, raise the levels, and two, to construct this massive earth bund, which is nine metres high, 26 metres wide and it shields off EMR, so it's a big, big environmental sustainability uh, project. So fundamentally, there's a lot of work going on around here in the West Midlands, isn't there? You've sourced that material, brought that in, but the thing that really made me not laugh, but sort of stuck back in horror earlier was when you said the HMRC came down to test you out and you got all of that traceability and were able to give that to them. How does that work and what were they What were they trying to do? Why did they come and see you? Well, we had to see the left HMRC, see what we were doing here, and they thought, OK, let's go and see what Dunton Environmental are up to, what are they doing on this site? So they wrote to us and said they want to see all of our paperwork, documentation and all of our permitting. So we had four weeks to get everything ready, which we did. They come and met us on site and went through, where does our material come from? Is it chemically suitable? Can it be reused? and had to go through all of our paperwork. So I also went through our accounts to see how was everything being funded. We got everything together and they come and met us on site and we delivered everything. The final part was when they wrote back and said, done to the environmental, yes, you've done everything correctly. It's not a rogue operation like there is going on in the country. This is a straight, honest operation going on and we're very pleased with what you're doing. Right, folks, I think that's really important. And why is because, quite frankly, we can't send any material to landfill anymore. We've got to think about fuel and the environment. So if we're taking material away from a site to go to another remediation site to then be transported again and again, we're just the, the carbon impact of that is huge. So with you being able to do this, do this in the right way that even the government is really happy with when you've been checked out, that's got to give a message to other people out there that we can be more sustainable in what we're trying to achieve, isn't it? I totally agree. This is the way forward. Reduction to landfill, we do it with many of our clients, it's the way we look to offer value and to care for the environment. This is why we believe in what we say. We're here to protect the environment and to do the right thing. And this is evidence of what we're doing. And one of the biggest things that's evidence of what Dunton Environmental are doing around protecting the environment is 
putting your mission statement on the back of that Cat 330. Now the Cat 330, the brand new model, it's actually quite environmentally friendly itself, isn't it? They've got new engines in there, they've got new technology in there, and obviously from an operator perspective, the machine is got more hydraulic power. So talk to me about what you think that machine's going to do for Dunton environmental moving forward. This machine now is one of the most advanced around with the fuel efficiency, operator friendly, the cab, the noise, the noise is so quiet when they're sitting in the cab and it's just so efficient on fuel. I don't think you'll get any better than this other than going for a hybrid but I think this will actually give the hybrid on its officially a, a run for its money. So we're going to take a look inside this cab because there's some things that have happened. You can see there's better visibility. There's a new cab design. You've also got tablets in there doing all of the stuff for the operator, haven't you? And that's part of that process, isn't it? Decluttering the cab, making it a better environment for the operator, but having that information there that can be sent via GPS over a SIM card, isn't it? I totally agree with you. The touch screen just on the display control, and the camera visibility on the 360 camera is really good, it's so clear. I've sat it myself and viewed it and it was remarkable. The GPS screen itself on the Earthworks is so bigger, it's like an iPad. And it's just the way you can record your points and send everything back to an engineer. It's just so much better. One, for time. Two, we haven't got people traipsing around the country to collect information. And it just seemed the right thing to do for us. And that's why they've put on the back of it, folks, some of their mission statement. And tell us, Sean, what is that mission statement and why did you put it on the back? Well, it's, our, it's, it's the vision of Neil Lara that owns this business. We have a vision that we want to do the right thing. You know, it's to leave something everlasting in the environment. So I thought, you know what, we know it at Dunton. We all know what our vision is. I thought, let's share it with everybody. So I decided on this machine there, you can see in the background, to make it special. Put it on the back, make it stand out, let people see what Dunton Environmental are all about. And this is what Dunton Environmental are all about, folks. It's a big site in Coventry where they're making a big difference. They're shielding the residents of some brand new homes that are going to come here from what is a waste recycling operation next to it. And it's great to see Dunton having a bit of fun as well, getting that message out there at a time when everybody needs to consider the environment. Fantastic to meet you here, Sean. Thanks for letting me on site. Great to meet you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you.